To assemble your kegerator, follow these steps. Before you begin, make sure to consult your specific manufacturer's instructions before assembling your unit. If the unit has been transported on its side, let the unit stand upright for at least 24 hours before plugging in. Move the unit to its final location, allowing for clearances for ventilation as per the manufacturer's recommendations. First, you'll need to install the draft tower. To do this, place a rubber washer on the top of the draft tower opening. Then, feed the beer line down through the opening into the interior cabinet. Next, place the draft tower on top of the opening and secure it with four mounting screws. Now feed the air hose into the draft tower from inside the cabinet. Finally, screw the tap handle onto the tap faucet. Next, you'll need to install the CO2 tank. Remember to keep the tank upright at all times. First, attach the beer line to the keg coupler, placing a rubber washer at the connection point. Next, attach the gas line to the CO2 regulator output barb and tighten the screw clamp. Connect the other end of the gas line to the keg coupler and tighten the screw clamp. Using a rubber washer and nut, attach the CO2 regulator to the CO2 tank. Next, screw the coupler onto the keg. When the coupler is fitted into place, push the coupler handle down to open the seal. Turn the hand wheel on the CO2 regulator to open the air tank. Now switch the shutoff valve to on and you should hear the air enter the gas lines. Adjust the PSI between 10 and 15. Carefully place the CO2 tank into the cabinet and close the door. Now your kegerator is set up and ready to dispense beer.